Welcome to the Alabama A&M Basketball Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with men's head coach Otis Hewley Jr. and women's head coach Margaret Richards. And now, our host, Mr. Ted Dixon. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama and m Basketball Review with head coaches Margaret Richards, who we'll speak to later on in the program, and the man sitting next to me, head coach Otis Hughley of the men. Coach, we congratulate you on a great victory. It's been a good weekend for you. Tell about Lorenzo Downey, who came down at the end of the came in the end of the game. He's a reliable defender at times, especially down the stretch, because he'll rebound. And uh, and he's and he's active, he, he'll help off his man and he'll talk. Um, he's a a consistent contributor when it like comes, that. yeah, when it comes to like that. down the stretch. And some guys, you don't know when they're going to contribute, especially when they're young. Mm-hmm. You know what you're going to get from him. And you know what, not position to put him in. Don't put him in the inbound the ball. Don't put him in and try to help <laughs> you, you bring it up the you court. You know what he can do and what he can do. Yeah, and then he pops a big three when we spread the floor out. We screen, we, we penetrate, we kick it to him, and he knocks that down. But he was in here working the day. Talk about Eric Lee. Eric is a utility man. Whatever you need, he'll do. Defensively, offensively, he can guard every position. He can play every position mm. except the one. Mm. And uh, But he, he can even throw post-entry passes like a one. So that guy is absolutely a necessity to have on the floor because he doesn't take the ball out of anybody's hands. He'll cut and get a timely bucket. Mm. Uh, he'll get a timely stop. Sometimes he'll get some untimely fouls. But you can't fault his energy and his effort because that thing is, that thing is elite, his energy and his effort. Mm. He's just got to manage it a little better. And the only way to do that is the OJT. He's got to keep getting that experience, that on-the-job training. And we're giving it to him. Talk about Chad Moody. Special. Mm. Yeah, a kid can be special. He just... I think he's getting too much too fast in order to really maximize his development and growth. So I got to keep him grounded. That's why I ain't going to start him. <laughs> oh, coach. Well, if you get too much too fast, people find rest and, and, and quiet and, and complacency. Yeah. And then they don't grow. They're not as hungry. They don't mm-hmm. grow as fast. You know? So I want him to continue to be hungry so he can grow and reach his maximum potential as early as possible so he can play off his full potential as many years as possible. Warren Peake, we interviewed last week, had good things to say about you. The leading scorer, scorer tonight, but the guy of the hour too sweet to be sour, Cameron Tucker, who adjusted the offense one play and then made an entry pass to Moody for the basket. Coach, I see the OJT. I see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Guys are growing right, growing up right before your eyes. Mm-hmm. And, that you know, they're making – they told making, us to watch and wait. You just said, give them time. Yeah, just give them time. And typically this kind of realization of, of or witness, you know, of what you guys are witnessing, it takes a couple of years. You know, these guys are starting to fast track it a little bit mm. because I've been pushing them as hard as I can because I know our older kids don't want to wait. This is their last year. They don't want to wait for the younger kids to get better. They, they want it now. So you got to push everybody as though they want it now. Coach, we thank you so much for you guys wanting it now. And again, we thank you for watching the Alabama a Basketball Review. We've got the men's highlights up next. we got a lot of stuff happening, Coach. I said it to Coach Richards. I'm not trying to get you to look ahead, but March 2nd is going to be a huge day, but you got some work to do in between that. Yeah, we got to go to that Florida swing, and that thing's going to be really hard. You know, playing in Bethune-Cookman is like, Coming to Elmore back in the day with Coach Petaway. You know, man, turn up the heat. <laughs> and they do. <laughs> it's already hot in Florida, but they still turn it up. Mercy. Yeah. So we got to turn it up right back. Cool it down. All right. And we've got enough to do it. We like the balanced scoring attack, Coach. The system is working. Thank you all so much for doing what you do. And we'll be back with more in the Alabama a and Basketball Review. With this time, head coach Otis Hughley. Two in a row, baby.
Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.
Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Basketball Review. With me now is head coach Margaret Richards of the women. Back-to-back -back wins here at home this weekend. Congratulations. We were just talking briefly. What do you tell your team in the post-game talk in the locker room, Coach? I told them I was proud of them. They fought. You know, it wasn't always pretty. You know, even when we didn't score, we found a way to get defensive stops. And we stayed poised and under control on offense. And I was happy about that. And we did a better job of taking care of the basketball. I was talking to Alicia. I said, now, after your interview, and you told me you played with dudes in the street, I wonder how come you were getting more aggressive out here. cut in and out of this interview as this is halftime of the men's game. Bulldog men trailing Arkansas Pine Bluff. Coach, you won. We were just speaking a second ago about motivating today's student athlete. Yes, I mean, it, it is difficult at times. You know, that's why I like to recruit self-starters. I think it starts with the, the athlete first. And a lot of times I try to get out there and play with them. I try to get out there and um, joke with them and do different things just to keep it just keep it lively and fun, you know, just to keep relating to them and even dance with them, do the little TikTok videos, you know, just, just to stay relevant. You know, you got you to do those things. So when you're staying relevant, though, you're trying to get them to go to a place with their talent that they have no idea they can probably come. Absolutely, absolutely. Even in the film room, I'm like, hey, tell me what you see. Because I, I like to I like to have an open uh, open response conversation when we watch a film. I want them to tell me, what do you see? Let's talk about this. What can we do? How do you think we can win? Because I, I think it's very important to get the, the athlete's opinion about what they see and how they think we can be successful as well. We're talking here with head coach Margaret Richards. It's halftime at the men's game. The atmosphere is unbelievable here at the Alabama A&M University Event Center. Be part of it. Coach, we'll give you the last word. You were just speaking earlier about every game is a playoff game from here on out. Absolutely. Every game right now is a conference tournament game for us. We are playing for something. We are playing to win and playing to advance. My, my key word been advance all season long. Mm. And right now, I told them, if you know, starting with tonight, if you want to play in advance in the conference tournament in March, we got three weeks, three weeks, you have to be a talented Pine Bluff team. And my team did that tonight. Amaya Simmons, Kayla Turner, and Alicia Wilson led you in scoring and rebounding, all three almost having a double-double. Tonight it's the big three. Tomorrow, this weekend, it might be six people in double figures. Coach, you will spread the ball around. Yes, yes, sir. I told him, I said, all you guys are valuable. Everybody brings something different. You just need to play as a fist and keep believing in each other and play together. And we got we got ourselves something special. What's next up for you this weekend, next road trip? We we have we have FAMU and Bethune Cookman. So it's gonna be extremely important because we got two talented teams that's also trying to play for something and that's playing for uh, tournament bids. 
so we have to come and break our hard head on and focus and be, become more disciplined on the road. Looking ahead, Coach, at the home schedule, the Alabama State game. I haven't looked ahead that much. <laughs> I got to stick with, you know, we go to Florida. I got to take care of business on the road to Florida. I, I can't comment on that right now. Thank you so much, Coach Richard. My apologies. I'm sorry. Hey, happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. My birthday's this week. So happy birthday to me, but thank happy you all. Happy early birthday. Right on, thank you so much. And we'll be able to talk to Otis Hughley after the men finish up here. Coach, good luck, travel mercies on the road. Thank you so much. Go Bulldogs. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere.
Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University, start here, go anywhere. Welcome back to the Alabama A&M Basketball Review. Another thrilling victory here in the Alabama A&M University Event Center. I got the man of the game, number three, Cameron Tucker. But introduce <laughs> yourself to the folks, because I messed up your whole steal. Man, you good. Uh, my name is Cameron Tucker. I'm a graduate student here at the University of Alabama A&M. Uh, uh, major sports management. Uh, you want me to go deeper? You want me to go a little? Do it how you do it. Man, I'm a... Uh, Oldest out of four, uh, 2019, we know the state champion, man. Shout out to we know the high school. They doing their thing down there. Uh, 5A player of the year, state championship, MVP, I'm all that. So, yeah. Now, with that kind of experience, championship experience, I'm sure that's why you were recruited here at Alabama A&M. Yes, that sir. attitude. What about your team's makeup now, especially after the adversity you've gone through? Mm -hmm. You're the second leading scorer tonight, three scores and double figures. Are you ready to make a tournament run? Uh, not only am I ready to make that tournament run, but I think, and I believe as a team we are, collectively as a unit, we're starting to mesh together well. Uh, our camaraderie is getting better. Everything is just mm. flowing. Like, and I can't explain it. And it's, it's something that I don't want to get in the way of because Hugo don't want to get in the way of, but we're just flowing, man. We're coming into one. We're getting a niche. We're getting, like, comfortable in the, how we want to play. There's a highlight we're going to show you, folks. Of a great move inside the paint. You're directing traffic. Bulldogs coming toward the basket in the fourth quarter. And you actually direct where the student athletes should position themselves. And then you make the assist and we get a basket. Tell us about that play. Um, I just try to get my guys in, they in the best spots I can possibly. That's my job on the floor. Uh, and Chad Moody, that was the person I gave it to. And he, he, he was going. He was going tonight, really, for us. Um, mm -hmm. He's really unguardable right there. Um, I felt like we had – that was our best matchup to go to. He was, he was in the floor of the game. He was really moving. So, I gave it to him, and he did the rest. Moody had 13 tonight. Mm. So, Coach Hughley is always talking to us about motivating you to take the next step. What has he shown you that you can be as a student athlete? What goal can you get to that you didn't even have any idea you thought you could be there? <sighs> That man showed me so much. Just the little time I had with him, really. Just how to be a professional, how to be a man in the community. He just, mm. he just been on me, really. Because I had, I had a lot of growing up to do when he, when he first came and met me. He helped me along the ropes. He didn't, he didn't babysit it. He didn't sugarcoat it to me. He just told me that I need to step up and be the man that, that my family needs me to be. Mm. And it's more for him. It's more than basketball. It's more than basketball. So he just guides me as, as best as he could. It might come off rough to others, but mm. tough love is, is love at the end of the day. So I just take it on, I just take it with a grain of salt and keep it pussy. Hey, we are cheering for you guys. Good luck going into the end of the season. I keep trying to get people to look ahead to a game that's almost sold out, folks. That's March 2nd, Alabama, Alabama State. State. Yes, sir. Right here in this building, the first time they will play in the Alabama A&M University Event Center. Be there, be square, but it looks like you're going to have to go to a third-party store <laughs> to get a ticket. We'll be there, but we'll take you to that game. So thank you again for watching the Alabama A&M Basketball Review with head coaches Margaret Richards and Otis Hughley. Bulldogs win them back to back at home this weekend. See you next week. Go Bulldogs!
We rolling. Where you from? Birmingham, Alabama. What part? Is it? You from the west side? The west side, man. Come on, What's now. What school, man? We know now. Man, man, come on now. Hey, that's the man. You think he's gonna say party? <laughs> no. Man. He's not with Nona. We know the man. Ain't that a judge? Ain't that a singer? Man, no. I thought he was gonna say Pleasant Grove and leave, man. Hey, look at this. No. But we're rolling right now. This part is what's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is worth a dog. This is, this is what's worth. Okay. No, we I know rep, you, rep it then. Yeah, rep, 2019 rep. state champion. From we know the high school. Right on. Yes, I watched that on TV. Yeah, man. Darrow brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere.